Right now at 6, a lacrosse man is sentenced in federal court. And lacrosse police unveil new additions to the force. Watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. A lacrosse man will spend the next five years in prison on a federal firearm possession conviction. A judge sentenced 24 year old Javon Jones Shields in Madison today. He was convicted of possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. Last October, Jones Shields was arrested in lacrosse on an active warrant. Officers found a loaded revolver and controlled substances. Joan Shields was prohibited from having a firearm because of multiple prior felony convictions out in Olmstead County, Minnesota. A bear was spotted in Onalaska in Holman. On Wednesday, dispatch with Onalaska police confirmed they received several reports of a bear near Quincy Street and Sand Lake Road. In a follow-up today, dispatch said they received several more reports in Onalaska and Holman. Now, it's not known if the bear is still in the area. If you do see the bear, do not try to approach it. Report any sightings to authorities. The La Crosse Fire Department's emergency medical personnel spent the morning out on the water training to respond to drowning calls. With the help of training equipment, EMTs and paramedics simulated a drowning rescue effort. They rescued a swimmer, then practiced CPR and attempted to stabilize the patient. After the exercise was over, the trainees were graded on their rescue attempt and received feedback on how to improve. One captain says this kind of training never stops. This job is one of preparation, knowing your equipment and being ready. And that's the key to success when the real calls come in, it's repetition. So when we put our folks, our providers, our EMTs, paramedics, firefighters through these scenario-based trainings, we have found that that is the most effective in preparing them for the real thing. Hillcoat says his team reviews a different facet of emergency training every month. And their training involves a mix of classroom-based lectures and the on-scene yeah. scenarios. Today, the community came together to support an elementary schooler raising money for his cancer treatments. Luke Willenbring is an Aquinas fifth grader diagnosed with neuroblastoma cancer. It affects the adrenal glands and is commonly found in children ages five or younger. His family and friends set up a lemonade stand to help raise money for his treatments. Anyone who came to support the lemonade stand didn't have to pay anything. They only accepted donations. Tons of people have come and they've been paying quite a lot. Are you charging or what does it? Nope, just donations, whatever they want. Mocha and Linda's Bakery also donated food items to support Luke's lemonade stand. Looked like a good turnout. It sure, certainly did, and a good day for a lemonade. It was pretty warm out today. Yeah, you yeah. could definitely feel a little bit of mugginess, but uh, today, Greg, is nothing compared to what next week might be yeah, offering us on it's that. It's comfortable front. right now, and I think a lot of people would probably prefer these temperatures and humidity to stay around, which uh, they will for tomorrow, but then we do have some changes coming up for the weekend, and that does involve more humidity. But for today, right now, we just have some cloud cover out there, both locations into the 80s, just some cloud cover, and that's what we're going to see. A little bit less cloud covers will go throughout the evening, but temperatures very comfortable. Winds will begin to die down into the mid 60s as we get later in the evening. Same story for Eau Claire, getting dropping slowly back to the mid 60s as we get towards 11 p.m. with clear skies and those winds, which have been a little bit of gusty up there, will begin to die down too. All the activity that we've kind of had earlier today is pushed to the south. We have temperatures still in the 70s, with a few clouds out there. Further north, there's a few clouds rotating around that are going to clip maybe northern areas, but otherwise, we're going to keep an eye to the front well down south to Kansas City or Kansas area. That's eventually going to lift back north, but not tonight. We're just going to see clearing skies, a few clouds up to the north or south passing through. Otherwise, temperatures falling back into the 50s as you wake up tomorrow morning, maybe around 60 with light winds, so it should be a very comfortable morning to begin with. And really, tomorrow, the big story is near seasonal temps, low humidity, but we're going to be tracking more humidity and more showers and thunderstorms coming, especially as we go to Sunday and through next week, too. Thank you, Greg. A Democratic bill ensuring nationwide access to in vitro fertilization has stalled in the Senate. Wisconsin's Tammy Baldwin was one of 48 senators to support it, but the bill needed 60 votes. It would have codified IVF access and mandated employer-based insurance to cover fertility treatments. Republicans say this bill fixes a non-existent problem. Now, the bill is a response to Alabama's Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos are children and those who destroy them are liable for wrongful death. Baldwin says that decision makes federal IVF protections absolutely necessary. Before the vote today, two Wisconsin mothers who went through IVF joined Baldwin to call for the bill's passage. 
It's truly the only reason we have our two children. Without science and IVF, they would not be here, and they are my dream come true. It's also my dream that all families have access to IVF and fertility coverage. Until your family or your friends go through infertility, it's hard to imagine the toll that this takes on someone. Now, Republicans Katie Britt and Ted Cruz have introduced their own IVF bill, but Senate Democrats have blocked it, arguing it would create legal uncertainty for clinics and that it gives states discretion to restrict access. Well, healthcare has made significant strides in recent years, continuously advancing and adapting. And Mayo in La Crosse is leveraging AI to revolutionize their radiology research. Our own Michael Germain spoke with a radiologist who says it's going to play a major role in Mayo Clinic's future. More and more hospitals across the United States are using artificial intelligence in different departments. And one hospital here in La Crosse is using artificial intelligence for the radiology department. Ed Hansen, a radiologist at Mayo Clinic Health System, says AI will play a crucial role in every aspect of radiology moving forward. Today, it's being used to help make patient care decisions, helping spot critical issues like cancers and fractures. Hansen says radiology imaging will allow Mayo Clinic to be more efficient in patient care. It'll speed up our workflows. Um, and then it'll make things better for the patient. Though AI is a fairly new concept, he believes every healthcare provider will use these tools in the future. And I think it's already happening, so it'll be, um, you know, gradual iterations as we go along, but it's already here. Reporting La Crosse, Michael Germain, News 8 Now. Thank you, Michael. The La Crosse Police Department has some extra eyes in the sky thanks to the help of the community. Today, LCPD held their official unmanned aircraft launch event, showing the public the capabilities of their new drone program. The new fleet features three different drones, which are all used for different purposes. Their biggest drone, the Matrix, has thermal imaging capabilities for their night searches, and the smaller models will be used to assess potential danger indoors. The department's drone coordinator said the program is a real game changer. Um, technology has been really beneficial for us and helps us do our jobs easier and safer. Um, it helps us keep uh, the community safer and our officers safer as well um, by providing real life, uh, up to date information um, what, with what we're seeing and what's going on. La Crosse Police Chief Sean Kudron said in the short period of time the department has had the drones, they've already made a huge impact. He added that the program would not be possible with, without the help of donors. UW-Eau Claire is building a new science center. Crews broke ground today on the new Science and Health Sciences building. A nearly $350 million project will be the largest building on UWEC's campus. It will replace the 61-year-old Phillips Science Hall, which will be raised when the new building is complete. The 330,000-square-foot building will feature a brand new fire suppression system and expand the simulation facility for the university's nursing program. The chancellor says he's excited to have one unified science building. We've not taken a silo approach with it. So we've, we've specifically broken up the building so that we're sharing and collaborating. The future is really not just about a single discipline, it's how disciplines work together to solve problems. Schmidt says the new science building should be completed by spring of 2027. Outside organizations will also be able to do research in the facility. The Blue Angels are actively getting ready for this weekend's Air Fest. Meet some of the pilots who are returning to the Midwest in style. At Bygoff and Rhodey, we know reputation is important, and it can affect your case's outcome. If you want your case to be taken seriously, you need lawyers who are taken seriously. Bygoff and Rhodey, serious injuries need serious lawyers. From midnight tweets to drinking bleach to tear gassing citizens and staging a photo op, we knew Trump was out of control when he was president. Then he lost the 2020 election and snapped, desperately trying to hold on to power. Now he's running again, this time threatening to be a dictator to terminate the Constitution. If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Trump wants revenge, and he'll stop at nothing to get it. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no joke. Hmm. 
Us stays means exclusive deals just for us customers. Now let's try burpees. Us Days is back at U.S. Cellular. Current customers get $1,200 off any phone, plus $300 off any tablet. Dad always said I was special, that I would do something big someday. But for a while, we were just worried about getting to tomorrow. At UW Health, we found the team that made it their mission. Not just to get me through the day, but to give me a new life and a new kidney. Now, my future is infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Is your personal injury lawyer trying to sell you a settlement that you don't think is fair? You need a lawyer who won't settle your case just to move on to the next one. Get the full compensation you deserve. Get by Goff and Rody. Residents are all set for the Deke Slayton Air Fest this weekend. Yeah, News 8 Now's Allison Fergett met some of this year's performers, including pilots with the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels. Allison. I'm just brimming with anticipation. Allison, how was the afternoon out there? Ken and Emily, the Blue Angels fighter jet squadron is made up of the most talented aviators. And for some of them, Air Fest is a hometown show. Jets and pilots from all over gathering in lacrosse for this weekend's Air Fest. And of the most exciting, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. The flying is incredible. It's a long, competitive process to be chosen for the elite squad. It's a rigorous application. There's a paper process, there's an interview process, there's a strength test. All worth it to fly in one of these. Being a part of the team is an incredible honor. For Lieutenant Commander Amanda Lee, making it through the application process meant making history. She's the first female pilot in the Blue Angels. It's not lost on me how impactful it can be to see somebody that just looks like you. She's also from Minnesota. Performing in shows close to home is always special to her. It's incredible. I've got a ton of family coming into town to support as well, and it feels great to be close to home. The Blue Angels mission includes inspiring a culture of excellence. It's something these pilots think about during every show. Everywhere we go, our goal is just to inspire. So we hope that if you come see us this weekend, uh, you're inspired to just do, do a little bit better at whatever you're, whatever you're passionate about. at Airfest this Saturday and Sunday. There isn't a set event schedule because there's always the chance for last minute changes due to weather. Can Emily? All right, you worth just Yeah, you just answered a question for me. I was like, when is when, who and who and when, and when are they flying? And now you just answered, so thank you. Gates will open at 9 a.m. both days, supposed to start around noon. Yep, exactly, all right. Promoting focus in the classroom. Some elementary school teachers are learning a pair of exercises to get students learning ready. And for Roman, it's going to be a great day for Friday forecast, but he's not going to like pretty much this weekend coming up with the heat and humidity returning. I'll time out when to expect those temperatures, how high we'll get, and if we'll see any little showers and thunderstorms that coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. Stop in now for Lacrosse Fireplace Company's discontinued model clearance sale. Save on in stock wood stoves and gas fireplaces and receive up to 50% off electric fireplaces. Lacrosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. I always knew that I wanted to be a mom, and choosing that it was the right time was just a really exciting moment. It turned out that my baby had a diagnosis that would be incompatible with life. It wasn't just that my baby wasn't going to survive, but I was at risk for hemorrhaging when I delivered. I met with my doctor and we went over the risks and benefits. I made a really informed decision, just like you would for any other procedure you're going to have. I'm a nurse and I'm an example of a woman who had to have a procedure to be able to save my life and to not watch my baby die. And now Donald Trump supports laws that could take that procedure away across this country. 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it. Without that procedure, I would not have been able to get pregnant again. But the good news is a year later, I had my son. If Trump gets elected again, I fear for women. 
AB Pack is responsible for the content of this ad. Get an 11% rebate on your siding project at Menards. LP Smart Side products are the number one brand of engineered wood siding, offering versatile style, texture, and workability. Plus, it's backed with a 50 year product warranty. Accent your siding with Novick hand split cedar shake panels. Now $16.89 after 11% rebate. Shop in store or on Menards.com and get an 11% rebate on all siding. Save big money at Menards. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month. Call 1-833-376-4999. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should too. Call now. Stop in now for La Crosse Fireplace Company's discontinued model clearance sale. Save on in-stock wood stoves and gas fireplaces and receive up to 50% off electric fireplaces. La Crosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. La Crosse Elementary School teachers are undergoing some dynamic training to help improve students' focus in the classroom. They've learned BALA VISEX, which stands for Balance Auditory Vision Exercises. It includes hundreds of rhythm-based exercises involving small balls or sandbags. Company instructors from BALA VISEX train teachers how to use it when kids need a break in the classroom. And recent studies have shown that repetitive heartbeat-paced movements are proven to reduce stress so the students can focus on learning. It works. It works on your balance, your visual tracking, um, and calming. So it's like everyone should try it because it just brings uh, a great calm to your body that you really don't understand unless you try it. Every classroom in Northside Elementary is equipped with the balls and sandbags, so they're always available if a student does need a break. Okay. Well, it looks like we have a new kind of forecast here in the studio, the Roman Ooh. forecast. Greg, why don't you explain what that's all about to everyone? <laughs> Roman, he's the uh, Corgi, he's my son's Corgi, who I have now because uh, he's at basic training right now. So uh, that is Roman, uh, the Corgi. He, uh, a little turd too sometimes, but uh, as all corgis are. Well, overall, if you look at the big picture right now, we've kind of been on this northwest flow here for quite a while of time, but it's going to start changing, and that's going to bring up the heat and humidity as we go throughout the weekend. As the west starts seeing the jet stream dip, we're going to start seeing it go all the way up to Canada, so that means warmer conditions, more humid. We still got the thunderstorm chance to go with it, but that's going to be the bigger change going in through the weekend, and it'll extend through next week too. But none of that tomorrow should be fine. Good low humidity temperature. Friday nights just increasing clouds and then Saturday starts off fine. We'll have some showers, but not expecting thunderstorms and temperatures will be OK for that day, too. But for tonight, really just going to see a very comfortable night. Temperatures getting back down into the 50s, light winds, a few clouds out there, but really no issues to speak of uh, as you wake up on Friday morning. Then tomorrow, Plenty of sun going out throughout most of the day. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover in the morning and some cloud cover with daytime heating. Just some cumulus clouds in the afternoon, but otherwise we're going to get up into the mid to upper 70s, low 80s for most locations. That's where we should be with that north wind there. Um, but for tomorrow evening, Friday evening, once again, no problems with some increasing clouds, staying in dry conditions. And those clouds cover is because we have that system or a, a complex of thunderstorms that will be right along a warm front that will lift north. We're going to see how fast that actually approaches us and can it stay together as it gets closer to Saturday morning. It will fall apart as it does, so we're not expecting thunderstorms, but we will have at least a line of showers, maybe a period of light rain in the afternoon time frame most likely. It will probably weaken as it does come through. And then we have more rounds developing to the south as the warm front begins to get even closer to us. So those showers and thunderstorms are definitely going to pick up an in intensity of coverage as we go into Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday is kind of a question mark, and I'll get to that in a second. But for Saturday, you can see overall for the air show, looking actually not bad. Cloud cover will be high cloud cover, and then we'll actually see showers later in the afternoon and towards the evening. Won't be a lot of rain, but we will see that. Then as we go, oops, skip right back over there, go back to Sunday because that's when things get a little more interesting. It really looks like more thunderstorms in the morning time frame than the afternoon, but it all depends on when that complex or thunderstorms comes through overnight. If it gets delayed more towards the late morning, that means we might have more cloud cover going into the afternoon. But if it does wrap up in the morning, we'll have sunshine more in the afternoon. Temperatures will definitely get closer to 90, 
but then also includes the humidity and we might have more thunderstorms too in the afternoon. So it's about a timing issue, but it does look to be more humid and thunderstorms at least in the morning for Sunday and for up north too for uh, Eau Claire too for Father's Day too. Same story, but I think they have a better shot to see the thunderstorms in the morning than the afternoon, but they'll also see good temperatures get up to the upper 80 upper 80s close to 90. But for tonight, not looking actually that bad. Comfortable temperatures, 50 degrees for most locations going tomorrow. Upper 70s, low 80s, very seasonal for this time of year. And then as we go into the eight day forecast, absolutely great for Friday. Saturday, we have more questions going in the afternoon. Sunday, maybe 90 with the humidity. And that's really the forecast throughout most of next week is the humidity will be up. Mm -hmm. Temperatures will be close to 90. Heat indexes could be higher. Boy. And then we have a lot of daily shower and thunderstorm chances, but not all day rain. But uh, Enjoy tomorrow because that dew point is nice and comfortable tomorrow. It's right. very fitting. It's on a Friday. So exactly. Really to look forward to. All <laughs> thank right. You, thank Greg. you. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in sports, blue gold baseball back at state for the second straight season. But this morning it's actually all about Oliva Strum. Those Cardinals competing in their first ever state championship game. Rob's got all the action from Appleton next. Proper installation of your new windows make a difference. The team at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions are factory trained to make sure your windows are installed to last. Call or stop into the showroom for your free estimate. Every day we battle illegal drugs coming into our community. And we know the attacks on Tammy Baldwin are not true. Tammy's working with law enforcement to stop the flow of fentanyl. She brought Democrats and Republicans together to crack down on drugs coming from China and Mexico. Giving us more tools to fight drug smugglers. And Tammy voted 32 times to strengthen the border. Don't believe the attacks. It's Tammy Baldwin I trust to keep Wisconsin safe. I'm Tammy Baldwin and I approve this message. The biggest steak sale ever is this Thursday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Save big on delicious New York strips, bacon wrapped sirloin fillets, and mouth watering ribeyes. This sale is huge, and so is our dad sized 25 ounce Big T T Bone. For the best steaks around at the best prices around, don't miss the biggest steak sale ever Thursday through Sunday, only at High V. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you install solar panels on your property, you're protecting your future. You'd be surprised to learn how much energy you'll collect and how much money you'll save. Whether you're considering a small roof mount system or large ground mount system, it doesn't cost you anything to find out if solar panels are right for you. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsenSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. Now's the time to enjoy huge savings on outdoor furniture from Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. From patio dining sets to sofas and chairs, they're all reduced to clearance prices. At Drury's, we have an eco-friendly mindset that's reflected in everything we sell. Environmentally friendly materials are important to us. And you'll be choosing from Homecrest and other quality brands, furniture that's designed to last. The Outdoor Clearance Event. It's happening now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. Bring all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. We've made it to the final day of the state baseball tournament. Two of our area squads have a chance to be called state champs. Kate and I traded places overnight. Mr. Overton had a front row seat for all the action. Yeah, Rob, it doesn't get any better than this. Championship Thursday here at Fox City Stadiums, and we've got two teams Going for a gold ball, Oliva Strum playing in the school's first ever baseball state final and Aquinas looking for redemption after falling in the championship game a year ago. We'll start in Division 4. First game of the day, Oliva Strum taking on Solon Springs Northwood and it wouldn't take long for the Cardinals to get going. First inning, two men on for Jake Bierke and the senior crushes this ball to deep center field over the head of the defense. One run scores, Cardinals jump out in front. A few batters later, Alex Anderson at the plate, and with the bases loaded, Anderson gets one down the third baseline. That scores two, it's 4-0 Oliva. Still in the first, and this time it's Brady Zimple. He wants in on the action. Zimple skies one out to left center field. That's in the gap. Two more runs come in as the Cardinals go up seven after the first inning, and the fans were loving it. And with one out to go, Webb gets the batter to pop out to third, 
and that's the game. Oliva Strum wins their first ever state baseball championship 11 to 1 in five innings. I mean, I'm very emotional right now. I want to feel happy, but at the same time, I'm really sad because that's the last time I'll be able to play with my guys and truly do love every single person on this team, and they mean so much to me. Well, it's a memory these guys will have forever. No time to rest. Division three championship game was next. Aquinas taking on Kenosha St. Joseph. First bout of the game, Eric Kennedy gets things started with a bang. He lines one into the gap. That's off to the wall, and he's in with a leadoff triple. Next batter, ground ball to short. The out at first is made, but that's more than enough. Lancers take the lead. Let's go to the fourth inning. Here come the Blue Golds. A couple of guys on for Jacob Thorne. He lines one into right. That scores a run. We're tied at one. Then after a fielder's choice gave the Blue Golds the lead, Kyle White steps in, and he wants more. White crushes this pitch to deep left field. That gets down for extra bases. Two runs come in to score, and Aquinas takes a 4-1 to one lead. Kenosha would get a few back to make it a one-run game, but in steps Eddie Peters. He's one of the leaders on this team, and Peters shows you why. A deep shot to left field, and that ball is gone. A solo home run. Aquinas adds to the lead, and then in the seventh, Peters takes over on the mound, and that was all she wrote. A strikeout to end it as Aquinas wins a state title 6-4 to four over Kenosha St. Joseph. Reaction from Aquinas coming up tonight at 10, but that's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back. Ashley Stars and Stripes sale is going on now. Don't miss these furniture hot buys, now only $7.99. Plus pay 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase in-store only. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. You're worried about someone falling. Scary for them and you. When you check out fall detection solutions, you should definitely check out Nomo. Nomo is better, with six layers of protection. Wear a sensor and detect a potential fall automatically. Put alert buttons in high-risk areas like the shower. The hub has an alert button and detects motion, or in case of a potential fall, lack of motion. So do the satellites. Put them in high traffic areas. And because Nomo detects normal motion, you spot changes in normal life in the Nomo app. Or set custom triggers and alerts. Potential fall detection? Absolutely, Nomo does that. But Nomo does more. For about a dollar a day. No more, worry less with Nomo. Nomo Smart Care. N-O-M-O Smart Care. Ashley Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Don't miss these mattress hot buys, now only $7.99. And get a free adjustable base upgrade with an Align by Ashley Sleep mattress purchase. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. All right, tomorrow definitely enjoy low humidity, 82, kind of where we should be. Saturday starts off fine, rain in the afternoon, just some light showers. Temperatures still pretty nice, but then things change for Sunday and beyond. If you want the heat and humidity, you've been looking for that, you're going to have it probably for about three to four days with heat indexes potentially getting up to the mid-90s. But uh, we'll kind of time out, break down Sunday a little better as we get closer to it. But uh, definitely prepare for the heat and humidity. Really well. All right, thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We'll see you at 10.